Hello there, my name is Rachel, the first time I see my channel, use review cartoon series, anime series, so sub in computer random, and today we talk about Morak, a Hulu original. Now how to describe this show is something that is basically kind of like The Office, but like super villain sort of point of view, but I want to focus off Morak, how his life is sort of foreign apart because he sort of lacks focus or understanding or better yet, uh, social skills on top of all that because he really wants to take over the world but the only problem is he doesn't know how to run a business to help them take over the world because he doesn't know how to spend money correctly. He also doesn't really know how to talk to right people because he's always thinking about himself to be the best. He doesn't know how to have a good uh, relationship with his wife, that's why he's sort of divorcing him. You also have a relationship with their own sibling, not sibling, his own son and daughter, I mean, and he doesn't really have that great connection. Much more, maybe because Morak is too occupied to work with the world, not realizing his whole life is sort of thrown apart. On top of all this, Morak is sort of an asshole, it's sort of the guy who, the more she keeps talking about about the guy, the more to talk about himself than you or something important. This is what type of character is basically awful. And that's basically the whole focus of the comedy. He just doesn't get it. But that's the deal breaker about the show. If you like the comedy, because the comedy will make you like it or hate it. And believe me, the comedy is sort of a hit and miss. It takes a little while to actually get there. I think the first four episodes are kind of rough because they don't understand how to act the comedy, but in Trade Up, you still have a lot of drama, a lot about how Modoc issues understanding how he act this way hurt other people. Time to sort of change. I mean, the drama is not super deep. It takes a little while. It just takes some pacing to figuring out how, why, how, how he acts around people, why he acts in the mouth people. It's sort of self discovery, but sort of slow. You see him sort of how to make friends by accident. And that's the sort of the interesting thing about Morak, especially episode four, that he just wants to take down the Avengers. At least steals uh, Captain, Ma Captain America's shield using the C lister of villains that nobody really remembers only if you're a real hardcore nor nerd who knows those comics, you know the characters. But once more, he used this kind of uh, C villains to help him to uh, take the shield, but also abusing them. But in the twist, that he sort of accidentally make friends, also realize he's sort of terrible, he needs something Something to believe in, something to believe in himself, to change, do he his friends, his family. That sort of self-realization, understanding, he's basically in the wrong path. And I found that sort of fascinating if you stick to the whole series, because at some point, you probably don't want to watch it. But be fair, this show is not terrible. I have seen terrible shows. And believe me, Morak is not a bad series. It's not the worst. It's not the best. It's okay. It's something you put on on TV. You do some stuff, look in the, in the TV to see any good jokes. That's the type of show. I mean, something I do sort of recommend just leave it on. He does say you don't have to pay attention all the time because it does deliver you some comedy actually is good. It just, you have to wait a lot. But besides that, the kind of claymation or stop motion, it was pretty good because this was so also the same people who created Robot Chicken. Their style, their comedy, it sort of works. I mean, sort of depends on you if you like Robot Chicken or not. The voice voice acting performance are pretty good. That was pretty interesting. It's something that I feel was sort of a work in progress of the whole series. But the end, I sort of kind of recommend it once more. Just leave it on. Don't pay attention that much. Just do something and come back kind of situation. One thing what happened in this series at the very end, what happened to Morak, that sort of cliffhanger, really grabbed my attention to actually want to see season 2, what will actually happen. Hopefully approve all the sort of mistakes they did on season 1, because it's a lot of mistakes, but you can see this show has so much potential to be so much more. It's just one of those things that it needs more time, more understanding about the show. Although that, I kind of not really sort of kind of recommend it. I got nothing really else to say. Just one question. Do you like this series? Do you hate it? You think it was okay? Bad? What? Tell me down below. Let me know. I can really nothing else to say. Just thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day.